Okay. All right, so where we are is uh, yesterday I worked on all the greens, right? It's pretty much all the green, uh, green um, spray paint, and um, so things need to be painted green. So here are these things. I did the, Demo the Demetrodon, I did the um, the alligator, I did the um, uh, Pol Polcantus, I did um, let's see pretty much uh, the Spinosaurus, and so this is all. Everybody who's um, was painted green is over in this corner, and I have today. I'm thinking of I have a conflict as to whether I should do um, red or if I should do black. Because the reason is because I have a lot of creatures here, and this one here is the most recent one that I made, is a snake. I made a snake, and I'm thinking the colors for that should be red and black. So I'm thinking of doing red. So everybody here in this corner, and here's me, overwhelmed, with all the um, creatures that are made, kind of looking around, it's like all the creatures that haven't, you know, that's, uh, that's been made but yet to be finished. And I have this thing here that's um, a red suit, one of the, I call it the Roman guard, and I wanted to actually paint this and take the little person out that's in there. And this was the original um, pilot for that one, and make it into um, you know pretty much like a you know, red guard. So here's the person on the green side as well. Anyway, long story short, I think I might go ahead and just do that, paint the colors um, red, and um, see how that goes. So anyway, so I'm gonna pause you right now and resume in a second. Okay, so just as before, I have my uh, Dr. P. H. Martins, and um, pretty much I have to set up my all my colors with my. Um, my air purifier, and I purify with my, um, what do you call this thing? Uh, airbrush. And so, here you go with this. And so what happens, the reason why I have the green ones here on this side over here is because I want to, um, this side over here is because I want to make sure that if there's any ones that need to be painted green, or uh, red, that I can, I can be able to do that too in the meantime. So you have that, you have this, and this is the, this is my spray paint. A spray paint canister. Here's my thing, so I'm going to use the color red. You know, it would be kind of cool to actually do it with a big one, but it's like what happens, it just sprays continuously. This one actually holds and stops it. What happens, this, this my um, spray is not a dual action spray can. It's actually a single action, so what happens, whenever I turn it on, whenever I turn the button on, what happens is like it sprays out air. Right, so the air is passing through, it's going from the chamber into the chamber out through the other side. So what happens is that what I have to do, I actually have to, um, turn off the thing, turn off the um, the drive whenever I have to um, um, stop it from, no, nothing will pass through this way. When I add this, it opens up this valve system here so that it can actually let the paint go through. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and load it up with some um, red paint. And as always, I'm going to be careful not to spill anything. So I'm just going to put this, my cap, over here where it's out of the way. Actually, I'm going to put it on the floor. This one here is going to be here, and we're going to use red. Now, there's two types of red. There's red, and then there's magenta. Now, this one here is the red that I'm going to use, and what I'm going to do is paint these these ones in this corner. It's red, so this will be, today will be a red day. All right, so in the meantime, let's go ahead and, and mix the paints. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and do that real quick. Just mix it. I might add a little bit of water to make it have a little bit of longevity to it. So we got some water. Uh, a couple drops of water. Uh, a couple drops of water, all right. About a whole bunch of water. All right, I'm gonna sp spray this out a little bit. All right, cool. All right, so we have here a lot. Okay, good. Alright, so that, got the red, let's go ahead and mix the red. Hopefully I don't spill it, because that would be really bad. There'd be like blood everywhere. Oh, look, spilled it. It's like blood everywhere. Okay, cool. Put this jammy here out of the way. Get this jammy out of here completely, actually. So I'm not messing with that. And let me get my napkins, because I don't want to spill this. I'll get my paintbrushes, actually. And then we start, what I'll start with is first the, I'll start with the, um, I'll start with the snake. Alright, here's this one. Let's start with the snake. Alright. 
All right, so here we go. We have a nice red snake. You know what I have to do too? I have to cover the eyes. So the eye, because the eyeballs are actually glass eyes. So you know what I could do? I could just not paint it. I could just paint it right around it. So here is the red paint. You know what I could do? I'll just have to cover the eyes. Because that's got probably a better thing to do anyway. Red. You know what I do also? I'm going to close up this cap so I don't spill more of this paint. Because you know what a bummer is? Bummer is when you... Oh, can I just paint myself in the head? Great. Right. He's bleeding out of his head! He's bleeding out of his head! He's bleeding out! Okay. What happens is this, um... I'm going to put myself this down over there. So I'm going to go ahead and just paint this right here. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. This, my friend, is a pit viper. Pit viper. And the pit viper has a lot of wonderful things to it. It's in terms of the fact that it has a, um, a pit on its nose. It can actually sense infrared heat from the body of a creature. You know, like in the movie Predator, he had like uh, the ability to switch his weaponry. Well. The snake has the ability to sense you in, per in pitch black darkness to spray your body heat. So you have no chance of escaping, especially when you have these uh, fangs that go with it. These nice juicy fangs and your tongue. So yes, yeah, there's no escaping. No escaping anytime soon. What I will do is I will cover this eyeball so this eyeball's not um, uh, covered when I spray paint this Jimmy. Let's see. If I need to add more stuff later, I can always seal it with some Mod Podge. So here you go with this one. I'm going to go ahead and um, seal up his eyes so his eyes are going to cover with the paint. And then proceed from there. Okay, let's see. So what do we have here? What do we have here? Okay. Alright, so let's see. Um, scary red snake face. Very scary, very stink face. Gonna cover up your eyeballs. Alright. That way your eyeballs are not gonna get painted on. Alright, right there. Alright. And then I'm gonna cover your other eyeball. So that's not painted on either. So alright, let's do this. Let me clear the area everybody else and proceed. I should do. I should wear gloves with these things. That's what I should do. What's nice about this paint is that when it when it hits, it like almost like dries almost instantly, which makes it really cool. However, it's like it's not like a spray paint though, which is great. It's, um, it's, it's great it doesn't get in the whole sink and house. <laughs> it doesn't make the whole house sink. Actually, it's pretty good for that. It just kind of makes a couple areas, you know. And that's it, really. So we shall paint the snake. And the colors are so stinking bright. I like to see where it's stinking a lot because things, things really like to stink. Especially this year. She has a very stinky year. Right here we go with this one. Nice red serpent.
Okay. So red snake is done. Let's do red shark. Pause for a second. Let's assess the damage. Out, out, brown spot. All right, let's see. Let's see. Have that one. Let's. What's another um, one that can be painted red? Let me see real quick. Uh, many creatures. Many creatures. Many creatures. All right. I got this person here. I'm gonna take this person out of their their suit. Oh, this person's not in the suit when I paint it. I want to paint in different colors, really. But um, I'm going to go. all right. Paint the suit. Paint it. Take it out of the suit. Red suit. Blue suit. Green suit. Alright, so we have this one. This one is, um, we have us uh, a mermaid. And no, mermaids are usually green, but not this time. We have a red tail. So we're going to make a red tail. Let me move this um, snake out of the way. I'll put the snake onto the, onto the floor. Out of the way. That way I'm not going to overpaint or accidentally repaint this. Alright, so the snake's out of the way. Next, we're going to paint the mermaid tail. Why? Because, hey, why not? So pretty much, um, I pretty much just want to watch me like paint and I really have a conversation, but you know what, I'll talk a little bit. It's been a very interesting day. Our favorite 7-Eleven started acting, acting kind of funny, you know. So everybody's like losing their mind. They were losing their mind before, but now it's like 7-Eleven was actually one of the ones we went to. It was really a good place. Um, and now it's here in the city, it's starting to get crazy. Everybody's starting to like really just take this thing to heart. Yeah. I'm gonna take the opportunity to paint her hair too. Just a little bit of the hair. And that way it's like uh red hair, red, red tail. It's a very good system. Very good, very good in terms of Okay, I'm out of red paint again. This is, um, what's her name? The sister of... What's her face? I don't know, I'm just making it up. Uh, not Ariel. Yeah, I guess Ariel, yeah, that's her name. Um, and so what happens, like, uh... There she is. Red. Red, yeah. Okay, so let's try this again. Some more red. So we were able to get through one thing. I want to paint the others with many colors. There's, um... Alright, cool. That didn't spill anywhere, which I'm really glad for. Alright, we're still recording. I'm glad that we didn't lose anything. Alright, so far we've been at it for about 13 minutes now. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and finish up. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so Red Mermaid is done. Okay, Red Frog. Mm. Oh, Red Sea Bass. Yes, let's try Red Sea Bass. Red Sea Bass. You know, I was going to paint this one other, to be a black sea bass, but now I'm really I'm looking forward to it being a red one. Um, hold on one second. Okay, so um, what I was able to do, I was able to fix up the sea bass a little bit, and so we're going to go ahead and spray it before I run out of battery space. I wanted to let this thing charge as long as possible, but also I don't want to like, kind of keep hold position for as long as possible. So let me just um, see if I can spray up this fish and make it all nice and good. So here we go. There actually is a thing called a red sea bass. I didn't I didn't really know that. I was gonna make this up into a black sea bass, but you know, it still might, you know.
Um, Do it again. See, like it, it goes so quick, you know? can actually paint a whole fish from this will take me a while to do with uh, the brushes I can actually go back and do it with the brushes I think again Add a little bit more water to it this time. <sighs> you know, it's the second time I did this. It's the second time I did that. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I think I did. Smooth the hand. Oh, goodness. I guess it's a red paint, red paint, red paint. I want to definitely get to the um, red guard before I run out of um, space or time or paint. You know, just wait till you actually dilute the stuff and it's um. Oh, uh, of course. We're not a, now I gotta charge this thing up too now. Alright, so. Pause for a moment. Well, I might as well keep at it well, until I run out of battery power, which is gonna happen momentarily. Um, anyway, so here we go. I had to kind of continue on with the uh, brush, with just a regular brush, as opposed to the airbrush, because that's what life is about keeping going. Just keep going. You know? This year has been one thing about that. Keep going. Don't stop. Just keep going. So I kind of end up painting anyway. Maybe it might work a little bit now. Let me see. Battery, I think the battery's like gone. 
Yep, battery shot. I gotta charge it up. I mean, I did, I did paint like, you know, like, like 20 items yesterday. You know, I didn't charge it since. So I'm gonna definitely have to charge it and charge my phone. I have to actually call it, call it quits here at this point. I'm just paint, end up painting just the, the red sea bass and the, the snake and the, and the, um, and the mermaid. And that may be it for tonight. As much as I want to paint the red guard, I might have to actually take it apart and then paint it separately. Because, like, um, I have a couple of factors working against me here, so I'm just kind of like a retreat for now and then regroup. Masking tape, y'all. Masking tape. One thing I've learned about this is like the more I work with it, the better I get at it. So right now I'm just kind of like um, um, learning that the the ink and stuff like that, how to use it, how to get it on right, and then having to use a, a paintbrush and stuff, and having to work around those things. That that has been very interesting for me, just because it's like I, I like I like painting. Um, I painted houses and I painted fences and I painted um, many things before. I've also done like street preaching and I painted people. So I kind of like my life is about painting. I do a lot of painting, you know, and so one of the things I like about painting is that you can change the appearance and object of something just by adding a couple of colors to it. Now, I have to pretty much add some more colors, but this is, you got yourself a red sea bass, baby. A red sea bass in my fingers. Look at that blood. <laughs> it's not really blood. It's just paint. So, anyway, so, um, right, let me go ahead and pause this real quick, because if I don't, I'm going to lose everything, so... Pause, 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 pause. Okay, so I got my eyes set on this red guard here, and I really want to paint him, so I'm going to move the strider out of the way, and I'm going to see if I can go ahead and paint this guy as quick as I can, because what happens is, like, the red guard is really a really cool, cool product. And so let me see if I can just get the, all the, the parts that make him red, the red Roman guard. Red guard is composed of masking tape, um, toilet paper rolls, um, masking tape, popsicle sticks, um, a whole kind of conundrum of stuff. The uh, snake he consists of the, 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 the viper, uh, the pit viper. It's a mixture of, um, of a paint. Um, it's a mixture of masking tape, um, cardboard. I'm going to mix up the colors on this one, so this might be like, um, red on parts. See, my goal is when I do this spray paint stuff is to spray all the major areas that need it. 
definitely going to put it on that thing. And they're going to finish up all the outlines with like different colors. It's like a red robot. Let's see, come because you know what's going to happen when it hits you. It's more like an exosuit type thing. You know, and so because it's an exosuit type robot, what ends up happening is that um, it's, uh, it's designed to keep. Um, you know, you have this thing where your arms are outside, you know? And that's, like, really not detrimental. It's detrimental because, you know, you kind of need your arms for stuff, so, you know, you want to keep your arms with you as long as possible, you know, your arms, you don't want to have them, or an expert soldier, come along and just shoot your arm off, because, you know, but this is kind of an exosuit, reminiscent that of, a, like, an alien type thing. But it's, like, a, also that of, um, you know, the APCs, or the AP, APUs. APC was, um, AP. APC with the, um, the, the, the personal carrier from um, Alien, Aliens. This one here. Let's see what it is. See how nice. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. A lot of red paint on this. Alright, so cool. Alright, so we have that. Red guard. Red guard looking good. Gotta put some more paint in it. So, need more paint. Ah, uh, starting to run low paint. Let me see if I can get a couple more drops in here so I can make it spread a little bit longer. It eats, it eats paint. This thing eats paint. Alright, so I'm gonna have it a little bit more diluted. Spillage. Alright, we're gonna low on paint. I think it's more red paint. Alright, so here we go. Definitely have to mix this up with water. You can have it concentrated. You also can do a little concentration as well. You know, I'm going to finish up the front, too. But let me just block off the holes real quick. That way I don't um, spray through. Block up the holes on the inside. That way I don't spray through it. I'm going to actually keep it to where it just kind of stays on the... under this and that goes through. Okay, so here it goes. What I actually want to do is want to spray chrome. On the chrome spray the whole thing and that that's gonna make it nice and good. Like I've gotten a lot in the hang of this since I painted Nightcrawler last week. It's got it like really good. What I hope to do, I hope to do this like a full time time thing. Like paint cars, paint you know, paint people, paint cars, paint houses. Um that'd be really good to do. Like a full time thing. Not sure anybody has a you know position available for that. Could become a house painter. I mean, like a real house painter, not like the ones in the movies when they say house paint and something else. So when I go to black, I'm going to have to add in the different parts of it that I want to make black. Okay, let's see what else we have. Ah, uh, the shoes. Definitely the shoes. So let's make the feet. Oh goodness, out of ink again. Alright, I'm gonna use the brush for it. Yes, I made this thing completely. And yes, it was actually fun to make it. And I, I just got my hands clean. Just got my hands dirty again. You know, I'm going to wait for the, the battery to charge up so I can actually, you know, get a good paint on it because it's like, though I, I, I missed some spots here with the uh, the thing, this is kind of like good to do touch ups, but it's, it's better it's better to spray and get the whole thing with the spray. So that's why car companies say spray the car as opposed to just somebody sits there and hand paints it. 
can go through and do touch-up spots with the paintbrush, but the best thing to do is just a series to just paint it with the paint it with the hand brush. No, paint it with the um, the airbrush. Can't wait to add more colors to this thing. But it's so cool. Goodness. All right, let's see what else I got. Um, let me paint the, the driver a little bit. Driver outfit. Roman guard. I keep saying red guard. It's a Roman guard. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if I can. I'm just gonna plug it in and see if I can get like a, a thing. So that way I don't have to like wait so long. All right. Let's see what we do. Too much faster it works with the airbrush. I have this up there and just spray and paint. This way I can paint the Red Guard Pilot. I can paint the Red Guard Pilot like in a few seconds. First I have to do it for a good long time. Oh, see how it absorbs it? Oh wow, it absorbs it pretty interestingly. Interestingly, is that even a word? Oh, yeah, I don't think you can do it with the... Yeah, I'm going to charge for a few. Okay, so back to the paintbrush. Alright, so cool. So we got the Red Guard and the Red Guard Pilot. So what happens to Pilot would be, well, it's not complete. Let's see if I can miss some spots there. You know, the cool thing about masking tape, I could always add more, add the colors and everything to them later. You know, so for example, I can add more details. I can also add more parts because masking tape is so versatile.